First of all, I love stories. Absolutely love them. Can't get enough of stories. And uh, the thing about stories that makes it so much with me is the fact that you can share a little bit of your world, a little bit of your mind with uh, someone else and put them inside of your world. That is fantastic. And as a human being, we're always looking for new ways to emerge ourselves into other people's world, into other people's stories, and sharing in what they have experienced. As a child, for me, I love my toys. My toys are my transportation devices. They took me to worlds far beyond our galaxies. I won, I stood hand to hand with the greatest of Kung Fu masters on Earth, my toys. And I told my stories. It was great. We, our minds were open to any possibilities. It was fantastic. And then, yeah, as I grew older, I fell in love with video games. Any parents were smart, you know. But absolutely, absolutely loved it. I spent a lot of time uh, playing games, and to me, the ability to tell a story through a game, something where I can interact and feel part of it, was fantastic. It was awesome. And as technology advances today, we, we are always looking for more ways to emerge ourselves. Today, we tweet in real time what happened on Game of Thrones. We can watch our 3D movies in our living room. We can, we can visit at different spaces and see at different worlds on the internet at a click of a button. But we are still looking every day for that big next step in the pipeline to merge us into stories. Some of the tweets. <laughs> but yeah, um, no spoilers on the Game of Thrones. Sorry for that. Anyone who hasn't watched it? Look. But um, I eventually backed a project in 2013 on a Kickstarter called the Oculus. This got me uh, actually very privileged to get my hands, uh, to be one, one of the first developers in Africa to get my hands on uh, the Oculus device, use it up to develop. Um, I spent days and nights in and out of that device. Um, I was coding for it. I was looking at all the new uh, possibilities and ways to tell a story, and it was game over. I was instantly sold. I felt a new way, a new connection to these stories that was uh, told to me. It was fantastic. I was there. It felt like walking in someone else's shoes. And uh, it, it is truly something you have to experience for yourself. I eventually became a VR junkie. It's just bad. It's bad, but it's not too bad. Eventually, I found out I'm not alone. I found guys right here in Cape Town that was also working on the technology. I called Tyrone Rubin, Abram Pessos, <laughs> and Richard Branswell. We all got together and we formed Africa's first virtual reality studio. We all have a passion, a big passion for sci-fi. We all have a big passion for, for telling stories, and not just our own stories, but sharing stories. And we came together and we decided we're not going to do a game, we're not going to do any of the regular things you see. We want to do a movie. The Africa's first VR sci-fi movie. It's called Awakenings. Uh, we are telling a story through a third person uh, perspective where um, you will be guided along the character and you will face real world problems and There'll be, uh, you'll learn how to solve them along with this adventure. I mean, who just wants to watch a movie? You want to experience it. You want to be there. You want to say, I was there. We want to take story writing and turn it on its head. We want to do it a little bit different. And um, yeah, we're really working hard at the moment at the studio to get, uh, to get the awakening set. But beyond that, we'll talk a little bit about the skeptics. Those are the big guys. Because the skeptics, usually, if, if I can read this to you, a television. It won't be able to hold on to any market it captures after the first six months. People will soon get tired of staring at a plywood box every night. Okay. Unfortunately, no. We are moving not just into 3D, not just into, into uh, something uh, you see on a monitor. We are emerging people into worlds. We are telling our stories by putting them in our shoes. It's, it is really revolutionary. I want to share another one with you guys. This is, a, this is one of my favorites. Airplanes are interesting toys but of no military value. Now that is good. 
That's a good one. That, that kept me thinking for a while. There will always be skeptics for this technology, but this technology has been overwhelming in the past. You've sat with huge machines and all that equipment each year, it's now it's available to get into the user's hands. And I would like uh, uh, to talk about not just uh, the technology being used in games. We tend to see E3, all these big events, all these, these game events, everything has got a VR madness a, a to it at the moment. But I want you guys to think about the potential of this technology, emerging someone into a story. How powerful a message you can pass along, using it in the medical fields to operate, using it to drive a new car. Your brand new car, you're thinking of buying, you're going out and you're driving it, you're there. There are so many more possibilities to uh, virtuality uh, in this change. And it's amazing that we're at a stage now where the technology can be brought into public, to the people, in their homes. Now, I, wa I want to challenge, and keep it very short, I love to talk, so I just want you to be very short. I really, I really want to challenge all the creatives to try out the technology, have a look at what it has to offer, not just in the game field, all your fields. It, it has the power to educate. It has the power to, to put someone else in your own shoes. What I'm seeing this technology as for the future that it holds is, I, I love the educational aspect of it. It's emerging someone into a world where they would never have the possibility to go themselves, either financial, either any reasons. We have the opportunity to put people there and, sh and to share our world. As well for Africa, which I'm very, very passionate about, I'll make a picture of, of a child are sitting in a rural village that doesn't have the opportunity to see the world outside. In, just imagine what one of these devices could do in terms of learning about the world. Education. <laughs> It, it, it's such an incredible tool to use, and we can really use it to drive our understanding of the rest of the world and other people's lives, their stories. Yes, we all are people. We all like sharing our stories. Since childhood, we've all been talking, we've been sharing, we've been using our toys. But as I said, I want to challenge the creatives out there to tell their stories and, and share the worlds they have created in the virtual space. It's truly, truly a very powerful tool out there. Share your story.